If WW3 were to start, what would you do? Go to the Winchester. Have a pint and wait for this oil to blow over. Die. That's the spirit. Delete Facebook. Lawyer up. Hit the gym. Start collecting bottle caps. And 40s music. Save me some new Coca Cola. Win. USA for the three peat. God am right. Americans. Not Americans. I'd move to some place that's not within a hundred mile radius of any major city. Finland here. Isolation to a fortified cabin. Rifle and booze. I dunno. But I'd definitely take the day off work. I'd enlist into the army to protect the freedoms of the United States of America. Same plan I had growing up during the Cold War. Die because I'll live close to a place that will get hammered with dozens of missiles. I live in neutral Ireland. I think I'd be quite bored during a war. Same thing we do every night Pinky. Try and take over the world. Honestly. I'd do whatever I could to avoid the draft. I love my country. But I'm scared to death of war. I could die for my country. But I really don't think I could kill for it. Probably be in the army. In my country every male between 18 and 64 is technically in the army. We go trough the basic training when we turn 18 and then we are called into service whenever needed. Luckily that hasn't happened since 39-44. Edit. Yes. I am in Finland. Ideally I'd move out into the country. Buy a bunch of guns. And build a bomb shelter. But realistically I'm super lazy. So I'd probably just sit around on my ass doing nothing. Get drafted. Die. Enjoy the show. Get my family the FCK out of Washington DC. Likely move them to family property in the upper peninsula of Michigan on the shores of Lake Superior in order to make a quick getaway to Canada. That depends on a lot of things. I don't think it would be a major nuclear war that results in the end of everything. Or an invasion of the main populated areas of any leading nation. A lot would also depend on who is involved in what is going on in my life. If it happened now. In an everyone against Russia sort of manner. I'm not sure what I'd do. I imagine some aspects of my job would change. But unless there were attacks on the mainland you. S. I don't think my life would be majorly changed. I would buy bonds to aid the war effort. If we all pitch in. We get defeat the Axis together. Being a Swede with Finnish citizenship I'd apply for service in the Finnish Armed Forces ASAP. Simply because the armed forces of Sweden are so small at the moment that it'd take a couple of years for them to reach full capacity. If I wanna defend my nation, I'd do it where it counts. Because I figure if Finland gets drawn into something, Sweden will get drawn into it as well. Considering I and nearly everyone I know and love lives within the Northeast Megalopolis, HTTP, N, Wikipedia, or Wiki Northeast Megalopolis, which is getting glassed an event of WWIII. Cry. Call a few people. Steal some Ben and Jerry's from the convenience store. Steal some booze from the liquor store next to that. Drink and eat and sob until I'm obliterated. I'd go to Switzerland. No matter what happens. No one will attack Switzerland under any circumstances. Move to Austria. They promised never to go to war again. Go to Argentina. Huge country. Nice people and far away from mere points of interest, like USA, Europe, China, Russia, ETC. Find out where the closest nuke is landing and sit under that spot. The whole world will burn. So quick and painless or slow and agonizing are your only choices. Grab my gun and go bag. Throw it in my trunk with my boxes of MREs and water purification tabs. Mount my bike. And drive as far north as I could before being forced to abandon the car. Then I'd continue riding into the center of the US and meet up with my mom and siblings in the middle of nowhere and live out my zombie fantasies. 
give me a few years and I'll have my full $20 K1 man army end of the world gear. If I'm not drafted, I'd move to Alaska. Pretty wilderness. I like the cold. And the chances of people finding me are pretty low. I'd start WWIV so we could get two of them out of the way at the same time. Like when they shoot the sequel and original simultaneously. But I wouldn't release a really good warmongering until WWIV Special Edition Blu-ray 2 Christmases later. Try to find and join one of those doomsday prepper people. Crack a beer. Light a cigarette. Take my mandoline out of its case. Call my band over. Do some blow. And play some fking bluegrass. Rinse. Repeat. Until it's all gone away. Nothing different from what I'm doing right now. Currently. I'm in no position to do anything for my country should war break out. Sure. I'm probably going to relocate somewhere safe. I think it's a mistake to simply think that everything will end with the war. Because life is sure to continue afterwards. Unless of course it ends with world destruction. As I don't have access to a nuclear bomb shelter. I think I'd have the best chance of survival if I was able to reach New Zealand. Sit on Reddit and talk about how upset I am and how no one is doing anything about it. You know what? I'd join the forces. Wouldn't do it now. But if WWII were to start. That's where I'd go. Why? Because I believe that a third world war would just be devastating whether you're fighting or not. Might as well try to make the most of it. Take car. Go to mums. Kill Phil sorry. Grab Liz. Go to the Winchester. Have a nice cold pint. And wait for all of this to blow over. Burn my copy of the better angels of our nature. Why violence has declined. You lied to me. Steven Pinker. Asshole. Kiss my goodbye. I know not with what weapons World War III will be fought. But World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. Albert Einstein. I would try FCK as many 18-24 year old women while all the young men are busy dying in a war. American here. I just show up fashionably late as usual. Go to Gatlinburg. TN get some old west photos taken of myself and go to Ripley's believe it or not. Grab moonshine and adopt a black bear as a companion. Find Dolly Parton and make babies in the Appalachian mountains. Enlist again. Same thing I do every night. Try to take over the world. I would laugh giddily as I realize I won't have to pay my student loans this month. That would kind of depend on what it's about. If it's money or power. And it's very likely to at least be about either one of those. I'd probably do what I can to avoid being drafted. No honor in fighting for the greed of others. If it's about protecting a group of people. I would enlist. I'd probably hop on my bike and head over to my friend Steve's house. We'd grab some canned minute made fruit punch and head down to his basement and make stop motion videos with his G.I. Joe's for a while. Then we'd both probably head over to Mike and Joe's place and see if we can't round up a game of kickball in the field behind the school. If we can't get anyone to play. Then we'll probably just head over to old man Cooper's stead and throw rocks into his pond. When the street lights turn off. I'll ride my bike back home. Eat some meatloaf and play Super Street Fighter I until I fall asleep on the floor downstairs. Wait. What was the question? Oh. I don't know anything about that. I'd probably die I guess. Write down everything that was happening. What I see in the news. How it would affect me. My family. And those around me. Drive 100 miles out in the middle of nowhere with cans of spray paint and camp out there until the bombing of my city was complete. Then I'd go back in. Find the largest standing building. Spray a giant dick butt on it. And team up with anyone who comes by and recognizes it. Then we do the same in other cities. Until our numbers grow. Finally when we feel confident. We would take over the post-apocalyptic United States.
I live in Canada so I'm just gonna run up north and hope the Russians anyone against America believes that Canadians are just a bunch of harmless Eskimos and igloos getting drunk off maple syrup. That's when we catch them off guard and kill them with our laser beam equipped polar bears. Shit my pants because I signed up for selective service to get FAFSA benefits and I don't know if I can kill other people. That weird chain of islands south of Australia with the spinny guy from the cartoons. Cause who the FCK cares about anything down there. Secondary would probably Germany. Because they are great at rebuilding. Cash out some bonds and property. Hire a mercenary USMC brigade. Soviet Alpha Team and some ex-Blackwater mercenaries. Post them on guard duty. Buy a flashlight and got to town as I wait to become king of the world upon the resurrection. My life would not change in any way. Well. Maybe my dad might have a new project related to the war effort since he works at IBM. But I'm on disability so I'd never be drafted. Move into the country many miles from any major city. Which also happens to be close to a large fresh water supply. Then I'd live the simple life while stockpiling weapons and resources. I'd hide in the outback. Atomic bombs are targeted at large population centers or military bases. No one wants to bomb something that isn't there. Also no one wants to invade Australia. Drop bears. Snakes and spiders. As the rightful successor to the ancient assassination art of Hokuto Shinkan. I would wander in search of water. Despite my skill. Eventually I would be apprehended by some local defense force. Once in prison. I would befriend a young orphan girl named Lin who in turn would nurse me back to health. Eventually in the shifting. Resource meager landscape the village will be attacked. Likely by a biker gang. I've made contingency plans in case Lin is captured. Including defeating the leader of the biker gang with my deadly martial art technique. 